So, the African Cup of Nations 2024 has begun. The Inside Football Channel offers you a closer look at the other side of the tournament, giving you the footballers who had every chance to play for the African countries, but who eventually chose to represent other teams. Cristiano Ronaldo, Kylian Mbappe… <laughs> stop, 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 we'll get to them later. In the meantime, leave us a like so that as many football fans as possible can get to know very interesting info. With that out of the way, let's get started! Capa Verde is one of the outsiders of the tournament for obvious reasons. The team doesn't have a single star to brag about. The highest price tag on transfer market has the 22-year-old Toulouse and Chebac, Logan Costa. Have you heard about this guy? Maybe some of you have, but the average football fan most likely is hearing his name for the first time. Chances of this picturesque country would have been perceived much differently if only fate made things the other way. The way in which one particular guy would represent the Blue Sharks. His Majesty, Cristiano Ronaldo. The matter is that Ronaldo's paternal great-grandmother is a native of Capa Verde. Isabel Rosa lived on the island of São Vicente, though at the age of 16 she moved to Madeira, where Cristiano was eventually born. In 2015, journalist Guillaume Balagay published Ronaldo's biography, where he suggested that African roots explain his muscular strength. Who knows how Cristiano's career would have turned out if he had been born in Capa Verde, but such a talent couldn't help but to reveal itself in football somehow, don't you agree? Anyway, we would love to watch Ronaldo performing at this African Cup campaign and how he would lead Capa Verde to triumph. Press the like button if you'd like to see it too. The national team of Cameroon is usually among favorites to capture the African Cup of Nations trophy, but this year it doesn't have a top squad capable of fighting for victory in the tournament. In the prediction made by the Opta Analytical Center, Rigobert Song's team is ranked only 7th. The main stars of the current roster are Onana and Nguisa. Very, very doubtful favor to win the whole thing. Imagine how much higher would they be in the ranking if the decision to play for Cameroon was made by elite players like Kylian Mbappe and Orlean Chomani. And there were also options with Yusufa Mokoko and Samuel Mtiti. Ok, let's be honest, the 2018 world champion Mtiti, who was born in the capital of Cameroon, Yaoundé, hasn't been much of a top player for quite a while. The other three candidates, on the other hand, would bring a lot of quality to the indomitable Lions. 19-year-old Mukoko, also born in Yaoundé, is considered one of the most promising strikers in Europe's top football, playing for Borussia Dortmund and Germany. Chomani is a top star who plays for Real Madrid and France. He was born in the French town of Rouen. Why is he associated with Cameroon? You see, his father is… that's right, Cameroonian. Cameroon is a part of me. I've always supported this country and the national team," Orlean claimed. Mbappe is definitely the main star on this potential Cameroon internationals list. Kylian's father, Wilfried, was born in the city of Douala. The star forward of the French national team and Paris Saint-Germain doesn't forget his roots and went on a three-day tour of Cameroon last summer. I'm so happy to be here, Kylian declared upon arriving at his kind's native harbor. How happy all Cameroonians would be if Prime Mtiti, Mukoko, Chomani, and Kylian Mbappe all were a part of their national team. Next up we have Algeria, the two-time AFCON champion. This is indeed a strong and balanced squad, rightly included in the top four tournament favorites. The main stars of the Greens are known to many. They are Riyad Mahrez, Benasser, Ryan Ayit Nouri, Usam Awar and others. However, there is a guy who could have become the main man of this roster. Karim Benzema Benzema is of Algerian descent, and his parents are both originally from Algeria. Despite that, Karim was born in the city of Lyon, France, where he first made his name known by the entire football world and the French Football Federation quickly took the prospect to the youth and national teams. 
now that's actually set, would love to see a Maris Benzema duo shining in Lifinec. All right, we think Nigeria wouldn't mind such big names as Jamal Musiala or Bakayo Saka or even Prime Deli Ali in its ranks. Don't you agree? All these famous footballers had the opportunity to play for the Super Eagles. Both midfielders from Bayern and Everton have Nigerian fathers, while the Arsenal winger was born into a family of Nigerian emigrants. Saka and Ali chose England, the territory where they were raised. And Musiala accepted the offer of the German national team, although he could have also represented the Three Lions. Despite the mentioned missed opportunities, Nigeria's squad stands out as one of the strongest in the tournament. Asman, Ademala Lukman, Alex Iwobi, Samuel Chukwese, Ihe Nacho. These names are on everyone's lips. Still, Musiala and Saka would make an absolute powerhouse out of this roster. Ivory Coast is another usual AFCON favorite, however, this highly talented team has won the most prestigious continental tournament only once. Needless to say, the team is once again stacked with talent for the ongoing African Cup campaign. Diomande, Ndika, Kessie, Seko Fofana, Boga, Bamba and many others. We'll get tired of listing them. Serge Gnabry, whose father is Ivorian, could be a great reinforcement for this gang. At some point, the Ivory Coast Football Federation fought for the winger, but Serge preferred Germany back when he was young. Senegal is the reigning AFCON champion and accordingly the main favorite of the tournament. Sadio Mane and co are ready to repeat their feat. The Lions of Taranga have become even stronger due to the arrival of new faces. 21-year-old Tottenham defensive midfielder Pepe Matarsar and 22-year-old Chelsea striker Nicholas Jackson. Nevertheless, if Leroy Sané, Ferlan Mendy and Amadou Anane had decided to become a part of Senegal at some point, then the position of the reigning champions would have been even more impressive. All three have Senegalese roots, and Onana was actually born in Dakar, the capital of Senegal, but eventually decided to join Belgium. The Egyptian national team is all about Mohamed Salah, of course, the one and only true pharaoh of Egypt. Interestingly enough, the idol of millions still hasn't captured at least one AFCON title with his national team, stopping a step away from a triumph at the competition held in 2021. Now the pharaohs are called a one-man team, and unfortunately this is true. Just look at this gap in price tags of Egypt footballers. The arrival of Stefan al Sharavi, whose father is Egyptian, would have improved the whole picture a little. But despite all efforts, even on the part of Salah, the star of Italian football made a firm decision back in the day to play for Squadra Azzurra only. The next national team on our list is Mali. And there are two individuals who could have played for the Eagles at the AFCON right now. Usman Dembele and N'Golo Kante. Wow! Both of their parents have million roots, and Conte's parents were actually born there. With that said, both Usman and N'Golo were born on the territory of France and went on to build their entire football career there. As of this moment, three players stand out in the Mali national team. 27-year-old Tottenham defensive midfielder Yves Besuma, 24-year-old defensive midfielder from AS Monaco Mohamed Kamara, and 25-year-old RB Leipzig midfielder Amadou Aydara. As you can see, the midfield area is truly star-studded here. Nevertheless, Kante and Dembele would have taken it to a new level. The national team of Ghana, a nation that is always rich in terms of promising talents, is a four-time AFCON winner. This time, the Black Star squad will include Mohamed Kudus, Inyaki Williams and others. Imagine how cooler it would be if Alfonso Davies and Memphis Depay would also make it to the lineup. 
The first was born in Budaburam, a refugee camp located 44 kilometers west of Accra, Ghana. The second has Ghanaian descent and has already visited the historical homeland of his ancestors a bunch of times. Angola is considered almost the weakest site in the ongoing Afghan campaign. Its squad is valued at 22.25 million euros. And its most expensive player is Zito Luvumbo, 21-year-old colliery striker. But what if the Black Sable Antelope squad also featured Eduardo Camavinga together with Rafael Liao? The whole world would definitely be more aware of this team. The versatile player of Real Madrid was born in the city of Mekonga, Angola though the family moved to France a year after his birth. In another case, the AC Milan striker was born in Portugal in a family with Angolan roots. Guinea has one of the most intriguing rosters in this tournament. Check out the following names. Ilex Moriba, Mukhtar Diakabi, Nabi Keita, and the main dessert of this team, Seru Gerasi. The breakthrough forward of this season's Bundesliga, who has already managed to deliver 19 goals for Stuttgart and is being hunted by the world's top clubs. With that in mind, the long-term leader of this national team could have been a guy named Paul Pogba. Interestingly enough, Pogba's brothers, Florentine and Matthias, chose to perform for Guinea, their parents' homeland. My brothers played for Guinea, but I wanted to play for friends. They were born in Guinea and they always said, we'll take care of Guinea and you take care of France. The 2018 World Cup winner, Paul, explained his decision. Another African outfit that significantly missed the huge star potential is the Democratic Republic of Congo. There are many good players in the team, such as Yuan Wisa, Brentford left winger, Cancel Mbemba, Marseille centre-back, or Simon Bansa, Braga striker. Although a squad with Romelu Lukaku, Christopher Nkunku, Yuri Tillemans, Christian Benteke, and Benoit Badiashile would look much more convincing. Lukaku, Nkunku, Tillemans, and Badiashile have connections related to family roots, while Benteke was born on the territory of DR Congo, in the capital of the country, Kinshasa. And now just come to think of it. What this DR Congo team would achieve with the aforementioned footballers? The Leopards would have been one of the main favorites to win the whole thing, that's for sure. Guinea-Bissau got into the super hard Group A, a quartet which also features the modest Nigeria, Ivory Coast, and Equatorial Guinea. Ansu Fati and Danilo Pereira would have definitely helped Jutras to make the difference. The forward of Barcelona, who is currently playing on loan for Brighton Hove Albion, was born in Bissau, the capital of Guinea-Bissau in 2002, and in 2009, the family moved to Sevilla, where Ansu revealed his football talent to the fullest. As soon as the lad came of age, Fati made his choice in favor of Spain. Danilo Pereira is another elite performer known for his spells at Porto and Paris Saint-Germain. Believe it or not, he is also a native of Bissau but eventually moved to Portugal where he joined its international youth teams. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this video and will give it a like. Be sure to subscribe to the Inside Football channel as we watch football from a different angle. Have a nice one and see you in a bit!